Command, this is Major Wilkins. I'm on my way to the new location. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll have any connection with you in the next few hours. So I really hope nothing bad happens this way. The date is uh, March uh, 2071. Let's go and see if this new location is worth it. I know you've told me to use the buggy before, but I've never used this and I have no idea how this works. So unfortunately, if I crash it, it is not my fault. So, luckily for me, you guys decided to uh, mark the beacons and make it a little bit easier. Because last time I drove this thing, I had no idea where I was going. And it seems that the reports for this particular mission indicated that I actually have to retrieve all of the equipment from the old base and bring it to the new base all by myself. I hope you guys are kidding, because... I'm just one man. So, all right. Um, looks like I'm just following the beacons now. And luckily, this is not going to be too difficult. The terrain here is pretty flat. I am, however, a little bit worried about this buggy because it already seems to not really move as fast as I hoped it would. Okay, I just got a new report from the NASA. They're telling me somewhere at the end of these beacons there should be some sort of a mining outpost. I believe this is exactly what my mission report said as well. I basically have to go and check if I can actually transfer the equipment from there. Alright, so I might as well press on this. Make it go a little bit faster. Because, you know, no one's looking and if something happens... I can always blame a rock. When I signed up for this mission, I didn't really expect this place to be so dark. Every single time I see the sun, I kind of miss home. And honestly, in retrospect, I really shouldn't have come here. Oh wait, I hope this is not being recorded right now. I don't want NASA to hear this. I can't believe that people that sent me here actually thought we're going to find something useful on this planet. It's been, what, three months now, and I believe the only thing I found was more dust everywhere. This is just a big dust bowl. I don't know what they expect me to find in this new location, but they better know what they're doing. So the terrain is getting a little bit more difficult to navigate. I don't know if uh, taking this buggy this way was the best decision, but I guess I have no other choice than to... Uh, do my best not to destroy this buggy, and it looks like we are already stuck somewhere. Okay, well, that's not exactly how I wanted this to go. I may need to... Oh, here we go. Got out. So, what exactly is over there? I've never really been here, and I don't really know why they even set this uh, location up. But, I'm sure we'll be able to find something interesting here. So this is yet another beacon that we've set up, but I don't actually know who did it. Because that was clearly before my time. Ah, so there is a cargo truck right there. They weren't really lying to me. And looks like I have to bring the cargo truck back to our base, but I don't really understand why... I don't really understand why they couldn't do this automatically, because I believe those trucks have an auto-navigation system. Well... I can't really complain, so might as well go and do my job. So let's uh, let's try to not do anything crazy, because it looks like this is going to be quite a ride down the hill. But then again, they're not really looking right now, so I might as well go and have a crazy ride down hill here. Let's see how fast we can go. Well, this wasn't as fun as I thought it would be, but better than nothing. You have to make every day here on Mars count. Okay, so I'm gonna go check inside, see if they left anything else for me in there. Uh, but looks like I just have to uh, load the uh, buggy into the truck before I continue. Good thing I didn't destroy it. So, but is there anyone actually... Is there anything in there that I need to take? No, nothing. It looks pretty empty from here. Okay. 
I haven't done uh, any manual work here for quite a while, so I believe I don't uh, remember how to do this correctly. Uh, I don't know if I was supposed to do this. I may have accidentally broke a piece off the uh, truck here. And uh, that's not exactly how I wanted things to go. Maybe I need to press something like a button and or a switch to open this thing up. Oh, okay. Well, it turns out there was a button here all along. They could have left me a memo for this, you know? Ramp position. I hope this piece I took off was not uh, essential. I hope that I can still load it without the piece. Well, only one way to find out. Let's take the buggy and put it in the truck. Already broke something unbelievable. Okay, well, this uh, didn't go as bad as I thought it would. Let's, uh, let's hope that we don't destroy anything else on, in the process. And here we go. Mission successful. Can I, can I get out of here now? Can I please? Here, here we go. Great. Okay, so now, uh, looks like we need to uh, get to the mining site. And uh, we're going to be driving the truck. But I, I believe I may want to actually close this ramp thing. Because um, I'm sure the truck will not be um, moving too fast if this thing is out. How do I get inside a truck though? This is actually a very interesting vehicle. I have never seen anything like this on Earth and here on Mars. And the fact that they're actually willing to trust me with this machine is uh, quite incredible. I did not expect uh, that I would get to ride any of these things. And of course the door was right there. I just kind of didn't see it. Uh, okay, so I may need to actually move this thing a little bit to the back because I am blocking the door here. And, and very carefully, very gently, let's approach the door without breaking things again. Uh, open close airlock and try to get inside without breaking things again. Open close airlock. Oh great, that's not exactly how I wanted this to go. Press the wrong button. Now I need to cycle airlock. Oh, inventory. Nothing in there. That's not cool. And now we're going to go and open the door. All right, so that uh, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, I guess we can now start uh, riding the truck. And where are we actually going? I don't know. It's hard to see. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Oh, there's air here. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, let's let's go and uh, let's try to reach that mining location. I think it's over there somewhere. And assuming that uh, nothing gets destroyed in the process, we might. Oh, we might. We we might. Solar event. Radiation. In one minute. Oh, well, that's huh. I was just about to talk about how everything is going to go fine and I'm going to get a promotion out of this, but it turns out that Mars is not a safe place after all. I haven't actually experienced any solar events here before and it looks like because the atmosphere on Mars is so thin and because I'm basically completely exposed to the open air here, uh, I'm going to be about to um, irradiate with tremendous amounts of radiation and probably never have children. Good thing I already made some somewhere back on Earth. So this is a maximum event. It, it sounds like this is a very serious solar flare, uh, uh, the type of which I have not experienced ever. And, um, well, I might as well start taking uh, pills, the uh, iodine pills. And, okay, I'm actually kind of freaking out right now because I only have 20 seconds left and quite a long time to go to this mining site. And the track is exceptionally slow. Now, will this actually be traversable? 10 seconds. 10 seconds to the solar event. Reach the mining site. Uh, collect machines and their barrels. So I need to collect things, load them into the truck. Okay, looks like we survived the event. Looks like uh, we might still have more children if, if it comes to that. Um, all right. So collect the machines and their barrels and load them into the truck is what my new mission is. And I, I'm going to try to do this without uh, once again destroying anything because we're, we're essentially just trying to um, relocate all of these items to a safe location. 
All right. So uh, now, what do I what do I do here? Cycling. And okay, I didn't really park very well. As a matter of fact, I parked horribly here. Uh, but I have no choice. I might as well go and uh, try to do my best to load everything up here. Uh, and I'm really having trouble getting out of this vehicle right now. So, what am I doing? I need to extend and retract stairs. And then, what I need to do is... These are ramps, right? Why didn't it teach me how to use this before I left Earth? This is horrible. What are these pallets? Full pallet? What does it say? What does this mean? Oh. Oh, okay. Why, why are we moving? Why, why are we going places? Okay, NASA, you really needed to warn me before I... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Jesus. That is not cool. Uh... What what does this what does this do again? I don't know. All right. Well, we'll we'll, we'll ignore this for now, and, and we're gonna go and collect these things. We've already survived quite a quite an ordeal here. Most importantly, there was a horrible horrible solar storm, and let's hope we never have to deal with this again. And I guess we we have to um, load them into the truck. That that sounds pretty easy. I just hope I don't break anything while I'm doing this. And now that I've collected the barrels, I think I also have to take the mining machines. Let's uh, let's try to pick this up. This looks tremendously heavy. I don't know how they expected me to pick this up. And if I need to use some sort of a tool to do this, because I don't uh, I don't think I, I I don't think I'm capable of just lifting this thing. It, it looks tremendously huge. Although I guess I can just use my tool thingy to to try to lift it. Oh, okay. Well, that clearly worked. So, um, wow. Didn't realize I had this in me. I did not realize I can carry all of this all by myself. Uh, I hope back home they'll appreciate the type of effort I'm putting into this mission. This is this is really beyond my pay grade. And number two, thingy majiggy, which looks like some sort of a minor. Collect it. Let's drop this somewhere safe. Let's try not to break anything. And good. Well done. Okay. Now they're telling me to uh, basically return back to base with all of this loot we've collected. So very gently, we're going to try to jump back into our truck. J jump, jump back, jump, jump back into our truck. Wow. I think I gained some weight on Mars. Probably all this lack of gravity and exercise. You can you can do it. You can just gently squeeze through. If I what if I run really fast? Oh oh yeah, it's all about speed. And I guess off we go. Um, this way, the other way. Okay, well might as well get out of here first. Uh, let's uh, let's go to the right, right after this little hill, and uh, hopefully not destroy anything on the way. I'm also not really watching if I'm losing parts on the way, but um, that doesn't matter now. My mission here is officially kind of unofficially complete. Is it? I hope it is. Oh, well that part was uh, flying very interestingly from uh, the stairs. Ah, uh, I'm supposed to retract the stairs. Um, I hope they're not watching. Yeah, we're fine. Who needs the stairs? We'll just jump up and down a lot. And looks like, well, mission successful. Very good. I expect a promotion out of this. Anyway, thank you for watching and come back tomorrow for part two of exploration of Mars in Take on Mars.